Hello and welcome to the Business Solutions Podcast, the show where we explore the courses, people and stories shaping learning at the University of Suffolk. Today we're diving into the Level 6 Data Scientist Apprenticeship, what it's all about, who it's for, and why it might be the perfect route into a career in data science. Joining me today is Adnan Azizi, who leads the programme here at the university. Let's start with the basics. So for someone who's never heard of it before, what exactly is Level 6 Data Scientist Apprenticeship and who is it designed for? So the L6 Data Scientist Apprenticeship is designed for those who want to go into a career in data science and all its relevant roles, including data scientists, data analyst, and data engineer. We don't require any prior background in maths or computer science. As long as someone has basic knowledge in maths and English at GCSE level, they can join us. And that's the beauty of data science. You can work in any sector, uh, whether it's finance, marketing, or insurance, for example. Domain knowledge also counts. So you can come with the technical knowledge, but domain expertise also is valuable. Brilliant. Okay. So it literally is open for anybody and everybody. I know for going on to one of our apprenticeships, we do require somebody that's got level two maths and English. So as long as they've got that, they can move forward, which is great. So how does it fit into the UK qualifications framework? Since it's a level six, what does that mean? It's equivalent to a full bachelor's degree? Yes, definitely. So once an apprentice completes the degree, they get the bachelor degree, as you rightly stated. And plus, we are governed by the apprenticeship standard for data scientists. So what made the university decide to offer this apprenticeship at degree level? Industry demand for highly skilled data professionals and student interest, or was it a mix of both? It's a mix of both. So looking at the demand in data science, it has been very high in the last decade and there is no sign this is going to slow down. I invite people, for example, to search for keywords like data engineer, data scientist on Google search trends. And what you will see is that there is upward trends since the last decade and this is as i said continuing also salary wise data scientists tend to earn a much higher salary than other jobs in it sector the uk government has released many reports highlighting that there is a need for data scientists people with data skills because businesses are struggling to recruit for such roles from the university perspective, we also have two degrees currently related to data science and AI. So we have the bachelor degree computing with data science pathway, and we have a master conversion degree in data science and AI, which is very popular among our students. So there is demand from employer perspective and also the students. Lovely. So could you just walk us through how the apprenticeship is structured? So basically the journey from start to finish. We designed the L6 Data Scientist Apprenticeship to have a full journey in data science. So starting from the fundamentals all the way through to advance knowledge in data science and practice. So let me start from the first year. So apprentices will encounter the fundamentals, including, for example, programming in Python, in R. They also go into learning about data analytics, visualizations, relational databases. And also we have a module where they do professional development and project management, and they get to work on a group project to apply what they learn in the first year. So in a sense, they get to wear a data analyst hat from the first year and then they can apply that in the workplace. In the second year, you move into the heart of data science. So we have modules covering machine learning, big data and cloud computing, software engineering and DevOps. These give the apprenticeship like the data engineering skill, the software engineer skill, and they also get to apply this in real world projects with real data sets. 
In the final year, the focus shifts onto the advanced AI, so things like natural language processing, computer vision, and also we have emphasis on responsible and ethical practice. So that's all through the data science degree. The final milestone is the final project, so a data science project that is also agreed with the employer, so where they get to apply the skills on something that benefit the employer. And finally, and that's outside the course, is the endpoint assessment, which is required for this type of apprenticeship, which include the knowledge test, a final report, and the professional discussion. And we can talk about this later. Fabulous. That's a lot of information. So thank you so much. So I know you said that we do work with employers as well and support learners getting into the employment world. How do we do that? How do we support them with that? Well, that's a great question. So uh, the first thing I would say, it starts from the design itself. So we met with many potential employer, our industry partners to put a course and in terms of structure content that is aligned with industry. So we got involvement from regional partners such as BT, Depop, Tech Skills, and so on. And just to give you some examples of the feedback we got, the implementation of the project management and professional development module in writing the first year was part of that feedback loop we had with them. And also the integration of AI tools for automating data science workflows. So there was an emphasis and we included that in the degree as part of that communication with them. After that, apart from the design by nature of apprenticeship, we work directly with employers. We meet with them every three months to discuss the progress of apprentices. And that give us another opportunity for getting feedback directly from the employers and also apprentices get to work on projects during the course that benefit the employer and their work. And also I know with the employers they have to provide a mentor to the apprentice to support them throughout their course as well. So how is progress assessed throughout the program and what does the apprenticeship assessment involve for a degree apprenticeship? Okay, so we have two parts. We have the assessment during the modules. So typically we'll have one to two assessments per module. And there you have, for example, assessment in the form of case studies, data science solutions, individual or group projects where they have to present or professional discussions that are informed by a portfolio. And then the second part, I already mentioned the endpoint assessment, which has three components. So you have a 60 minute knowledge test and a 7,500 word report, technical report and a 90 minute professional discussion. So that's part of the apprenticeship course. And this endpoint assessment take place at the end of all the modules. So once they reach the gateway requirements, they pass this and depending on the grade they get, it will determine whether they pass and which type of grade, whether pass, merit or distinction. And so once the apprentice graduates with the degree, what's next? What kind of positions do you see them going into once they've qualified? So I think data scientist is the obvious one, but in the sector, you also have some variants. I think the degree is strong in terms of data engineering. So apprentices or graduates can target data engineer roles, data analysts, which is at lower level, but starting the career, it's okay. Data architects or even machine learning engineers, as you mentioned. And so somebody that's actually considering applying for this role, what advice would you give to help them succeed within this course? Okay, my main advice would be be ready to balance coursework with the requirement of the employment. So this is a full degree with full job. The employer might provide one or two days for study. So time management and self-discipline is essential. I think on the flip side, you will have already three to four years experience once graduating. So that puts you ahead of other graduates and you can directly, for example, or soon after target senior roles in data science. The second part, I would say communications is just as important as coding or statistical analysis being able to present insights to non-specialists 
will also set you apart from other graduates. And the final advice I would say, be proactive about keeping a portfolio of projects. And as part of the end of point assessment, one requirement is to have portfolio of six to eight projects. And obviously we will help with that. And even the sector it requires that nowadays. Employers want to see a portfolio before hiring graduates. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So data science is changing and developing very, very fast with AI automation and big data transforming the field. What future developments do you see coming and how will this apprenticeship adapt to keep the pace? The recent AI boom and the push for more integration of AI tools is affecting the field of data science as many other fields. But I would like to point out that automation has been always at the heart of data science. It's an innovative field with a lot of innovation. So we already had tools that automate some of the processes. I agree now the announced goal is to automate the whole data science workflow. If you ask me whether that's already possible, I would say no, if you want something reliable. So what we do in our degree is we encourage integration and it's part of all the modules, but we want to do it in a safe way. So first you get to master and learn the concepts and then we get students to reflect and make a plan and to integrate these AI tools to automate some of the tasks. So we want to do it in a safe way, in a sense. So thank you so much for joining us today, Adnan. It's been great to get a look inside how the Level 6 Data Scientist Apprenticeship works and the opportunities that it opens up. So if you're listening and want to learn more, you can find all the details on the university website under Degree Apprenticeships page. Thank you so much for joining us again and thank you so much for listening.